Hi everybody, it's Chase at All Things Automotive. Thanks for tuning into the video on this 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. This particular Traverse is the premier trim level. That's going to be the second trim level from the top right below High Country. Still going to give you lots of extra features, uh, heated leather seats, full leather interior, navigation, road start, and a ton of other things, um, but a little less price point than a High Country. And of course, you're not going to have sort of that uh, cowboy theme that the High Country has. In place of the cowboy theme on this one, you have the red line appearance package. That's going to give you all blacked out emblems. It's going to give you those awesome looking 20 inch wheels with the uh, red racing stripe on those, as well as the super cool red backing to the emblems all over the car. We'll show you more of that as we go around. In the front, like I said, black Chevy bow tie. Um, of course, fog lights in the lower part of the grill there. Rather than having chrome accents, this sort of has, uh, I guess you would call that like almost like a black chrome. It's a, a still shiny and reflective, but it's a little darker. Really gives it an awesome sporty look from the front. Coming around the side, like I said, you do have a 20 inch uh, premium wheel there. Uh, it is mounted up with a brand new Terramax tire that's gonna be mostly a, a road tire, but give you enough uh, tread there to help you in the rain and the snow. It does have black mirror caps, integrated turns on the outside of the mirror cap. On the inside, of course, with one of the higher trim levels, you expect to have blind spot monitoring, which you do. If there's a car in your blind spot, that will light up orange to alert you of that. In addition to that, if you have the key in your pocket, every single door has this little chrome button on the handle. If you push that button, it will unlock the door for you, as well as relock it if you're outside and locking the car. Matching rim and tire there in the back. Coming around the back side, you're going to see more of those uh, red line goodies. Again, that black smoke chrome back here, the black bow ties, more of the emblems that have that uh, red backing to them dual tipped chrome exhaust down low. In addition to that, even the lights on the red liner special, they have this gloss black around the outside of them, and they're sort of a, like a dark, a dark smoke on the inside of the light as well. Of course, it is still legal. They can't tint the light, but they can make it look pretty darn cool, which they've done here. Continuing up on this side, let's take a quick look in the back seat before we jump in the front. You do have the uh, best setup that they have, which is the captain's chairs. That gives you full access to the seats in the back. Of course, you do have three seats across the back, two in the middle and two in the front for a grand total of seven passenger seating. Uh, it is the stadium style seating. What that means is that the, these occupants sit just a little bit higher than the front. And then the rear occupants step up one more level and you everybody can actually see out of the car that helps minimize motion sickness also makes for a more comfortable ride for your rear passengers. Uh, you do have the dual sky roof here. The front panel moves like a standard sunroof. The back one is fixed in place but does look pretty awesome above the rear occupants there. Both of these back captain seats are heated. You can see those controls as well as the rear climate controls right there. You also have a 110 volt AC power outlet and two USB charging ports here in the rear. Factory all weather mats throughout. Now into the front here where you spend most of your time. I'm gonna jump in so that it doesn't uh, continue to beep here. It does have uh, full power adjustable seats. It does have the uh, memory on the driver's seat, so if more than one person drives the car, you can set up different profiles so that you don't have to individually adjust the settings. You just hit your number, and it'll move the seat right back to where you like it. Of course, power locks, power windows. Um, you do have power mirrors here, child window lockouts. Uh, right down there, you're going to see the setting for your hatch. A lot of people have uh, garages that they park in. You don't want your hatch to hit the top of it, so what pe most people set that to is three quarters. That allows the hatch to come up to the typical height of a garage without hitting the roof of your garage. Uh, like I said, I apologize, I, I got in here so it didn't keep dinging, but it uh, does have the full power seat. Of course, this is going to move the base of the seat, this is going to move the back, and then it does have two-way adjustable lumbar support there as well. I'm going to start the car up here with the foot on the brake, hit the button. It does have 47,666 miles on it right now, so it does have the balance of the factory powertrain 5-year and 60,000-mile warranty left. Uh, on the wheel, you're going to see your cruise control settings, as well as your heated wheel controls. Menu navigation, of course, for the inside. Uh, screens here, all your information screens, things like that. Oil life, tire pressure, fuel economy, uh, all of that. Large touchscreen radio here in the middle does have that super cool uh, valet compartment here. You can actually lock things in this area if you want to do so, um, like a sort of a mini safe. Obviously, it's not super secure, but uh, it does add one layer of security as well as um, just overall 
Most people aren't going to look there. So if you're valeting your car or parking it somewhere, that's an option for you. Uh, rear climate controls are here. Obviously, your audio controls. Uh, in addition to that, your navigation is right here. Down below, you're going to see heated and cooled seats for both the driver and the passenger. It's also dual zone automatic climate control. So the driver can be 70, the passenger can be 78, or you can sync those together, hit auto, and it'll run just like your house would. Uh, down below that, you're gonna see two more USB ports. These ones are not just charging ports. These ones also link into the infotainment as well as the aux and a 12 volt power supply there. It does have a wireless charging uh, pad right here. So if you put your phone on it, if it's equipped with wireless QI charging, it will charge right there. Of course, standard uh, transmission controls here. This is your drive mode selector. Uh, the vehicle is front wheel drive. However, it does have specialized modes for driving in the ice and snow. Uh, it's just gonna uh, maximize um, your traction control, things like that, and allow you to get through the snow. And of course, those new tires are really gonna help with that as well. Lots of space down here. Of course, a little tray to put your keys and things that you want uh, close at hand up top. Inside of the glove compartment, not only are you going to find the books in there, you're also going to find the results of our multi-point inspection that we performed on the vehicle. Of course, while it was in our shop, we did do an oil change, a fresh Pennsylvania State inspection. We also replaced all the tires, and we checked out the brakes as well. Uh, brakes are on the... Wait, let's see. Apologize, the brakes are right there. They are 9.30 seconds in the front, 10.30 seconds in the rear, so that's about... Uh, five times their Pennsylvania state minimum so lots of life left in those pads and of course I just told you the tires are new so your wearable parts have lots of life left in all of them take a quick look at the Carfax here uh, it has had two previous owners no accidents or damage reported it was last owned in Virginia uh, it was a personal lease and then a personal vehicle my understanding is it was bought out by the leaseholder which is who we bought it from uh, that's why that second ownership period is so short um, Last part of the video, I'm going to try to show any dents, dings, or imperfections that you might find on the car if you come to look at it. Overall, as you would expect, it is a super clean vehicle, uh, but it does have a few little chips up here in the front that I noticed that I'll point out. Point of this part of the video, a lot of our customers do come from a long way away. We also do a little bit of pickup and delivery uh, if you so request or need. Uh, we like to be as straightforward as possible before the vehicle ever gets there. So you do have some pretty standard chipping across the front, pretty small stuff, really no, no big chips, no like rust chips or anything like that. A um, couple in that black chrome, looks about the same. Coming onto the fender, one little one there. Looking at the wheel, uh, really no curb rash or anything that I would point out on the wheel. Um, looks good, little chip there. Continue back this side, don't really see any dents to point out. Typically our dent repair specialists take all that kind of stuff out and I believe this vehicle has been done. I don't see any or it didn't have any. Um, that wheel also looks good. Chip on the wheel right there. And then the only other thing I saw on there is there's two little things right here from where it looks like somebody either, I don't know if they backed into something because I think you'd see that elsewhere, but there's two marks here and here. Around this side, everything looks pretty good over here. The wheel in good condition again. It's one of the things you always worry about with 20s. Overall, a little bit, oh, that wheel has a tiny bit of curb right there. Overall, pretty normal wear and tear. That awesome appearance package on the Premier, the Premier trim level gives you all those extras in the interior and a sweet look on the exterior. If you'd like to come out and take a look at this car, you can see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McCallsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at allthingsautomotive.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.